Good afternoon, good people. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tierra, aka Exclusive Edition. Um, today, you guys, I am bringing you a review. Um, if it, it, you guys know, it wouldn't be Vlogmas if I didn't do some type of luxury content or talk about some type of luxury. Y'all know I love it. It's me, so I decided to do this video. Very hesitant to do it because I'm sure there's a thousand videos out here like this. But I just want to give you my personal opinion. And today I'm going to be reviewing the Gucci Blooms slides that were so, so, so very popular about three years ago or so. Um, personally, I looked for them in my city of St. Louis. I couldn't find them anywhere. And I ended up going on vacation that year to Florida and I found mine in the Millennium Mall. So, um, but before we get started, y'all, I'm so rude. Um, thank you y'all for just subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching my vlog, Mrs. I'm a very small channel. I'm just now being able to actually get into YouTube, so I'm learning a lot, uh, trying to figure out what type of content I'm gonna put out, what my schedule is going to be. So, thank you for you know sticking with me for these last two years that I really have not been here due to nursing school. So, if you're a new subscriber, jump on board, and I really, really appreciate you guys. Okay, so I'm not gonna hold you up any longer. Um, this is not going to be long either because, I mean, I, I really have nothing bad to say about these. But this is the box that it comes in. Um, I keep all my boxes if I can. I don't have, like, the receipt or anything. But, uh, they did come in these boxes. I will say that this sandal is available now. Um, I don't know if it comes in the same box, but they are still available. So, it's not like they're sold out. Um, and let me just show you guys the sandals that I'm talking about. These are the Gucci Bloom Slides. They are pretty much just a canvas upper with a floral screen print on them. So gorgeous, so feminine, so summerish, beachy-ish, Hawaiian-ish, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. And to look at these, you guys, the first thing that I want to say is the wear on these are phenomenal. Um, like I said, I've had these for three years, but I will be honest and tell you that I really didn't break these out wholeheartedly until just this year. And I honestly have to thank Corona for that because since we've been in the house, um, I just wanted to wear something comfortable, something easy to, you know, throw on, slip on if I'm going to the grocery store or whatever the case may be during the summer. And I was like, you know what, let me, let me take this sandal and let me actually wear it because I know being in the luxury world and being in the luxury community, a lot of times we only pull out our, you know, quote unquote good stuff um, whenever we're dressing up or we're going out with our girls or on date night. But technically, you are supposed to be able to spend your money and enjoy this shoe without fear of it breaking down or, you know, something popping off, a stitch being awry, whatever the case may be, because we have paid good money. You know, we are consumers of the brand. And they hike these prices up because they're supposed to be of great quality and material. And so I can say that this sandal is exactly that. You guys, I have worn this sandal pretty much, I don't even want to say daily, but almost daily. Like since March, since the pandemic started, I broke these out and I just started wearing them around the house um, as my, my regular kind of like a house shoe. And I do wear them outside too also, so... Um, you guys know I was in the country most of the summer, so, you know, the bottoms of these have been scratched by country rocks and country roads, and they still look pretty much good. You do have a little wear here, um, which, I mean, it's the bottom of the shoe. What do you expect, you know? And depending on how you walk, a different area of your sole may be uh, tarnished like this is here. Um, as far as the sizing, I do wear a 38 in Gucci and these are a uh, 38, which would translate to a size 8 in the US. So they do run um, true to size and I have pretty much small feet. So I really, I, I was fortunate enough to try these on in the store. So I, I knew that I got the right size, but no, I, I've always heard about, you know, sizing on Gucci and people not being sure, you know, if the correct size is their actual size or if they should go up or down. Um, but I will say these do run true to size. They have not really stretched much since I've had them. Maybe a little bit, but I think it's more than, uh, I'm sorry, more than anything, it's just the sole kind of 
forming to your foot, but you know, it doesn't form to the point where like you have like toe prints up here. You do have this little ridge here that's naturally there because that's the way that they designed it. But you're not going to get a molding to the foot where, like, your foot is just going to sink down in it and create, you know, toe marks. Um, so it is kind of sturdy on, you know, uh, the bottom of the shoe. And also, I've been wearing these a lot. And y'all know, let's be honest, I'm not a skinny girl. I'm a big girl. But it does well uh, as far as weight. You know, the, the sole is not pushed all the way down where it's meeting or it's touching it does pretty well as far as keeping it, you know, nice and thick through here, nice and thick through here. So you don't be looking like, you know, a hot mess on the back of your shoe and all that. That's what it looks like. And it does have Gucci right here subtly on the side, if you guys can see that. And like I said, um... If you guys can see this up close, you see the stitching is still there. I don't see anything that's ripped or popped. And I've actually not been careful with these shoes. I've worn them like a regular Nike flip-flop or whatever. Um, like I said, rocks have scratched against this. I've worn them in the grass. Now, what I will advise is to not wear these to the beach or get any ocean water or even fresh water on them. Um, the card in here says that clearly there's a Gucci card that comes with this and it tells you how to take care of your item. And even though they look like a fun beach sandal, and I mean, I'll be honest, I may have worn these one or two times, maybe. And I can't even honestly say that with surety, but maybe to the beach or the pool. Um, but I've seen these uh, like on people's Instagrams or on their YouTube videos and they've been wearing these to the beach um, and in sand, and I guess they had no problem. I don't know because I, I don't know them personally. But as for me, I just prefer to do what, you know, the manufacturer says do. And I do not wear these to the beach to the point where I'm getting sand all over them because, I mean, you have to think sand is nothing but little rocks. And it'll break down and rub up against this and probably scratch the screening and, you know, make it look a mess. So I would not recommend to wear these, um, you know, by water or by any sand or just anything, you know, that could damage this. Um, although it is pretty durable. Like I said, you just have the interlocking GGs and this is just normal canvas with like a floral screen print. And I really, really like these guys. I mean, I literally have nothing bad to say about these. Um, I believe my original price that I paid and somebody correct me with them if I'm wrong, because I know, uh, some of you that love luxury may watch my channel. Um, I want to say when I bought these, they were two seventy and three ten with tax, because I know they're three hundred and fifty dollars now. Or I don't know if they were three ten and then they were three fifty with tax or three forty with tax. I don't believe I paid that much. I honestly believe for some reason when I bought these, they were two seventy and then like with tax, they were three ten. Um, but of course, inflation and everything. So now they are uh, three fifty, you know, out the gate. Your tax is just going to depend on what state you live on, live in, and whatnot. Um, so they, of course, have went up in price. But this, you know, it's just a very, very good sandal. I do recommend Gucci. Um, this is my first and only pair of Gucci slides. I didn't even think I was a, a designer shoe person, um, but. You know, if they're going to be wearing like this, I don't see why not. Uh, for me, it's always about the cost per wear. You know, I don't really buy things or ask for gifts, you know, from my boyfriend um, if I don't see myself wearing it and getting the cost per wear. These definitely, this year alone, I've gotten my money's worth. Um, and while I'm looking at this, one thing that I do want to point out, and I don't know if you guys can see this from this angle, but there is a slight bending here. Just a, where it just kind of slightly curves right there. That's the only flaw. And that's just because it's probably just molding to my foot or the way that I walk. Maybe doesn't fully support this to, you know, be up. But right in here, there is a slight folding. I mean, but I mean, I mean, literally that's to be expected. I mean, the shoe was three years old. I probably worn it this year alone. Like I've been wearing them for the whole three years that I've had them. And I actually haven't. So, you know, this is the other shoe. Like I said, on this side, it has the rubbing on the back. So, yes, you guys, I do 
recommend this shoe. Um, like I said, I don't have any other Gucci slides. Babe did buy me two pair of Versace slides, uh, so I can do a review on those if you guys want me to. And I probably will, because those are some bad slides, and, and the price lets you know that they're bad. Those were like four, four twenty before tax, and they were worth it, but but we're going to talk about that shoe. Um, and Babe has a pair. I bought him a pair sometime this summer, just an appreciation, you know, out of appreciation, I bought him a pair of Gucci slides. And he loves his, you know, and they're sturdy and he has nothing but great things to say. So as far as slides, if you're thinking about it, go ahead and invest in these. And matter of fact, while I'm up here saying I don't have another pair of slides, and I always forget this, I don't know why, but Babe bought me another Gucci pair of slides. I literally have the ones that have the canvas with the pearls on them. So I do have another pair. I'm sorry about that. I don't want to uh, not tell you guys the truth on that. But uh, I haven't worn those enough. I think I wore those one time. And I believe, honestly, they're a little bit too big. I believe they're a little bit too big. They're in the 39. Um, there was a deal that was found on those. And because they were hard to get, um, Babe bought them for me. And they're a little big. So I don't know if I'll be keeping those or trying to exchange for like a size 8 if I ever, you know, uh, find one. But the one time I did wear them, they also were comfortable. So, like I said, I have nothing bad to say about Gucci at all, you guys. And like I said, this review was not going to be long because I, I just don't have anything bad to say. You know, I, I would give these raving reviews. All the girls like it. They're so pretty. I mean, who doesn't like flowers with your classic Gucci print? You literally cannot go wrong. So, this is what it looks like, guys. I highly encourage you. Um, I know right now Bloomingdale sells them. I'm sure, you know, all your big re retailers like uh, Nordstrom, Saks, uh, you know, those that are in business. So you can find them there. And that's all that I have today for you guys. So I will catch you later. And as always, be an exclusive edition to someone's life.